Hello, and welcome to the Republic of Pulse. If that intro was loud, then you should like. No, don't do that for me. Hello, and welcome to Starbound. I am your host, Proto Shred, also known as Blade Greed, also known as your Lord and Master. No, I'm just kidding. I wish. Um, Starbound, if you don't know, is the indie 2D sandbox adventure RPG space simulator thing. Yeah. It's very fun. Um, it's still in beta, but it's uh, available on Steam for... I don't even remember how much it is. I think it's a 10 or $15. I could be completely wrong about that. Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah. So, this is the character I've gotten the farthest with. Not very far. He's only in the beta sector, which is the second sector you can get to. Um, now, if you don't know, Starbound is like Terraria in a lot of ways. It's 2D, it's a sandbox, everything is destructible and replaceable, and you can make pretty cool houses, and there's lots of randomly generated stuff. Um, what is different, though, is, however, is there's an infinite number of worlds each um, randomly generated. They're not all infinite, but they are really, really big. Like, as big as a uh, Terraria world, I'd say. Well, it really depends on the size of the planet itself. The smallest ones are about the size of a small Terraria world, except they loop in a circle like they're supposed to, which is pretty cool. Um, they have different biomes, like that one over there is a desert world, this one down here is a forest world, this is a snowy world, and this is a gas giant, which obviously you can't land on. Uh, you can travel to other worlds by um, selecting them in your ship and going to them. Oh, there's also another world probably behind here that you can't see. Uh, there's uh, multiple solar systems, each one with like a little planet system. I guess you could call them. I'm not really sure what you call that. But yeah, and then there are a lot of solar systems. And then there's two sectors that I've discovered so far. You start in the Alpha Sector, which is um, easier. And then you have to create a Distress Beacon to be able to go to the Beta Sector. But beyond that, um, <laughs> that's really all I know. There's randomly generated structures with um, people in them. Here, let me teleport to my home planet, which I have set as home, so I can teleport to it, despite being over another world. Uh, this is the one I spawned on. Oh, it's fogging up. Um, here's my little village, by the way. I'm gonna put it like an altar here, so it can complete the avian theme being like religious zealots. I completely lost my train of thought. Before, I was talking about this temple in my nice village. I mean, I built all this. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. This is my only other... This is my only villager. Mm, hey, baby. Or, uh... uh, uh don't tell L. Anyway. This is the village I've created. This is my home. It's nice. I got, like, a little furnace. It's really foggy right now. Um, there is weather and stuff. Yeah, I completely lost my train of thought. There... Oh, wait. There are randomly generated structures with randomly generated... Uh, not randomly... Gen There's randomly generated structures with inhabitants. These inhabitants can sometimes be friendly and sometimes sell you stuff for pixels, which you get from killing monsters, stuff like that. It's the universal currency, but you also can use pixels to create more complex material stuff. Like, um, to create weapons you need and armor, you need to use pixels along with, like, steel or iron or copper or what have you. Um, I'm traveling to one of those generated structures right now, so give me a second. Oh, there's also randomly generated monsters. And by randomly generated monsters, I mean completely randomly generated. Like, sometimes they're docile, sometimes they're <laughs> not. And they each have unique abilities, like attacks and stuff like that. Um, like you'll have the basic ram you with their bodies. Um, being, here's one of them, an abandoned mineshaft. It gets better, trust me. Um, 
or like barf blood at you, which is always fantastic for your health. Um, there's people that shoot lasers. Also, there are other civilized species like humans and people called apexes and robots and these florin people who, despite being flower people, want to stab everything. I'm not kidding. Their whole thing is trying to... They're, they're basically just mass murderers. I have no idea how else to describe them. They're psychopathic flower-like beings. Anyway... Um, yeah, that's about, that's, <laughs> that's pretty, pretty much what a florin is. And you can create and customize your own character. Like, I chose a, uh, avian, which is the bird species. Now, currently, I don't think any of these species have their own sort of special abilities, but that might change in the future, because this is still beta. Oh, hello. Speaking of monsters, these guys will just sort of try to body slam you. Bam. As you can see, this hammer is pretty powerful. I got it from the beta sector, and it's called the Awesome Thunder Hammer. Yeah. But I also have this thing called the Orion Shatterer. Also birds. All birds are hostile. I know those birds didn't look like they were hostile, but trust me, they were just luring me into a false sense of security. Also this... Oh crap, it shoots lasers. Oh, I missed. And I also took a ton of... I might die here. No. Okay, that might have been scrubalicious, but we'll just gloss over that. We'll just gloss over that. It was... It was, it was incredible. Why am I using bandages? I'm right next to my home. I can just sleep in my bed. Which, by the way, you can sit in chairs. <sighs> um, crops, you need to eat food. You can freeze to death at night. Um, you can freeze to death on moons and asteroid fields. You can visit asteroid fields, but you will run out of breath. Just like on moons, if you don't have a space helmet. Which I don't have yet, so I can't. Aww. Aww. You can freeze to death, but you can stave off freezing to death, at least, by staying next, right next to a torch or near a furnace, a campfire, one of these burning barrels, and other sources of, like, heat and fire. Open the... Open the door... Oh, I'm pressing the entirely wrong button. I was... But, um, the button to activate things is E, and I was pressing F. I'm a genius, I know. Um, these came from a randomly generated structure. I found this temple of my own species. Um, but they were against me because your, my character is, um, trying to disprove the abusive god Cluex, who is, um, the god of the avians. However, he hasn't been seen for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, and your character really, really doubts his existence to the point of taking a ship and running to try and find out the truth. The truth! Which you can't handle. Pun! Anyway. Um. Yeah. I completely forgot to talk about what this video is actually about. It's not... It's an introduction video to Starbound, and also that me and some of the other consoles are most likely going to be doing videos about Starbound, in Starbound, looking at these randomly generated strange worlds, stuff like that. Awesome. By the way, I took these from a human complex, I think they were human. Yeah. <laughs> and I put them on my ship. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I promise. Okay. No, my OCD! Ah, much better. I'm not really sure why I'm saying OCD. I mean, look at this star. <laughs> look at this starship. It's terrible. Oh, I have to, like... I actually have stuff that's done smelting in here. Hmm. Also, I have a flare. By the way, I say I have OCD, but when you open this up, ah, <laughs> it's terrifying. Yeah. 
I'm just gonna sleep, which does heal you. Albeit kinda slowly. Yeah, so I took it from those zealots that... You know what, forget that. I took it from some zealots who were in a temple, and they tried to shoot me. Yeah, they didn't like me. Here's a completely different world that's randomly generated. It's the same biome type as mine. They're both, uh... Um, oh, crap. They're both forest worlds. Yeah. Alright. By the way, things hit like trucks for the most part, so you will die very quickly. Which is why I don't like weapons like this. Which you can dual wield, but you have almost no range. I don't know. This is the... But there are also desert worlds and snow worlds and other kinds of stuff. I don't want to... Oh, crap. Yeah! Get freaking wrecked! <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Let's get out of the hole. Hey, hey, hole. Alright, yep, uh, yep. Yep. So just randomly generated worlds. Randomly generated monsters. Randomly generated trees and just fauna and flora and just all kinds of amazing stuff. Oh, hello. This seems to be a destroyed, um, that's a pit of poison water. <gasps> oh. Seeds and stem packs. Fantastic. Like, here's just an example of a very, very simple, uh, randomly generated structure. Ah. Uh, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna take these. <gasps> oh, okay. I'm kind of... I need to change my pants. Oh, man. <laughs> that was a close one. Even though it went... Ooh, hello. Hello. This is like an underground version of that... Oh, wait, no. This is like an underground temple of my people. They will hate me. And they will try to shoot me in the face. Oh, crap! Speaking of trying to shoot me in the face. They're actually trying to shoot me in the face. Oh, crap. He's using hardcore AD carry mechanics here. Oh, get back here. Ow. Well, this is incredible. <laughs> that was insanely good uh, mechanics. On my part, I mean. Not on his part. He was terrible. Yeah, here's a... Huh. This is interesting. I haven't seen this before. Okay. Um, that's a weird looking planet up there. Stop that! Ow! 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 I can't fight this. Yet. Oh, wait, no, I don't have my gun out either. What have I done to myself? Why? I don't even have my health stuff out. Where's my health? I'm gonna run this direction. Where's my gun? Oh, crap. They're still following me. Oh, crap. I'm probably dead here. Where's my gun? I don't know where it is. I killed Thorntail? I didn't even see. I'm sorry if I killed Thorntail. I didn't even... I didn't even see that I killed Thorntail. I'm gonna die. I have red stem packs, which are like bandages, only a million times better. These guns are not as good as my normal gun, I don't think. Are they? I don't know. I think I might have dropped my gun. Oh, wait, nope, here it is. Wait, is it better? Eh, it's slightly better. Yeah, guns in this game are kind of terrible. They use up this thing, this energy bar, instead of mat er, ammo. And when they run out of that mana bar, they do this. But they do, like, two damage a shot. So they're a little useless at times. I'm going to take this. Is this breakable? Oh, no. I was kind of hoping to be able to take that, not... These are just one platforms, aren't they? This is probably... Testing fate! <gasps> and an altar! And a gong! Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead right now. Goodbye. Wait. Wait. Can I juke them? I juked them! Oh no! Uh -huh. uh, okay, this is just being stupid. 
as much as I'd love to, uh, explore, oh crap, explore this, um, what happens when you die is you don't lose anything unless you have your game mode set to the game mode where you do lose all your stuff when you die. I'm not sure if it's like Minecraft, where um, you can go back and pick it all up from where you died, or if it's just, it's all gone permanently. I don't remember. This is the normal sort of difficulty. That thing will try and kill me. You know what? I'm just going to go back to my ship. That thing will be explored next time. Um, in the first real video of this series, though it will be a single player bit because um, this isn't the multiplayer save I'm making with Shane. Well, uh, I think that's really all I wanted to s say today. Um, thanks for watching. Oh, wait, 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 quick announcement. I apologize greatly on the quality of the Cho'Gath video. I was extremely rusty. Like, I've been extremely rusty with League, but I've been practicing back to get sort of back in the groove. Also, um, there were some problems with the recording, uh, like, software, and my mic was way too sensitive. It was picking up stuff like my mouse clicking, which isn't ideal. Uh, I changed mouses, too, just to be sure that it wouldn't pick it up next time. Uh, I'm not on that mouse currently, like I'm on my normal Razer mouse. It's my Razer Imperator. <laughs> Razer Imperator. Yes. I'm gonna put this here. Okay, I can't do that. Uh, anyway. So, if you guys liked and favorited... Wait, no. If you guys liked this, favorite it. Share it, subscribe to us, whatever. Give feedback, because we really, really need it, because we're just starting up and stuff. And by the way, go check out L Bites You's channel. She's my girlfriend. My name is L, or not, wait. Brain? My name is Trey, normally, but I go by Proto Shred for the channel's purposes. I'm in some of her videos, but only voice wise in calls with her. So, um... Yeah. Thanks for watching.